Thomas hat im Dezember den Shogun ausgeliefert und seitdem ist schon eine Menge passiert. Das heißt, es gab immer wieder Firmware-Updates mit Erweiterungen. So auch jetzt hier auf der NAB. Jeremy, can you tell us a little bit about the new features of the Shogun? Yeah, some, uh, some pretty cool features. We've got uh, pre-roll, which is cache recording. So we can do two to three seconds of 4K uh, and eight to ten seconds of HD. So while you're waiting to record, if you go, oh, if that's on, you hit record, you get the previous 10 seconds or three seconds in 4K, which is, I think, very cool. We've got time-lapse video where you can set a number of frames. So let's say 10 frames every three minutes for an hour. And you can do that up to 10 times. So you can get some pretty creative effects going on, on the Shogun. Um, we also have custom metadata tagging. So we've had favorite and reject for a while in cut editing. And now you can upload your own custom tags. So it could say audio pop or director's cut or the talent name. So then you can tag those at, just like you do your uh, favorite and reject edit. Um, we also have anamorphic D-squeeze which uh, Panasonic's announced a GH4 update. And we also have added V-Log from Panasonic onto the unit. So that GH4 marriage is still a perfect marriage. Mm -hmm. um, so we've been working and developing with them for that. So that's a, that's a big announcement for us. We also have a lot of RAW um, support, ARRI, RAW, um, there's Scion from AJA, which we've announced, which people are pretty interested in. Yeah. Oh my God, they're getting together. Um, we've been friends for a long time with, uh, I have, with the president there, and we finally found a way to work together, so that's yeah. great. Um, we also have Canon and the new, uh, and Sony FS series, which we've announced and that, that we'll be shipping soon. Mm -hmm. The big, I think one of the biggest announcements of the show is the XC10, which is the small Canon camera. Yeah. Um, I really love the image from it, using it with the Shogun. I think it's going to be a huge product for both them and for Shogun users. Yeah. And I'm really looking forward to um, you know how people actually use it in the field. So that, that's the basic, oh, 4K uh, DCI, we've also announced here mm -hmm. that we do uh, 4096. Um, so we're getting more and more high-end features, but don't forget, it's the simplest, easiest to use recorder monitor on the market. We invented this category and we're very, very pleased to bring um, these new features for free to customers. That's great. What about the power supply? Because we, we heard uh, yeah, last year that there will be some power station, yes. but it, it hasn't... Time. <laughs> yeah. Let me explain why first. But okay. yeah, so power station will, will ship in the first week of May. Yeah. And it's taken us longer to support all the cameras yeah. that, we, we, that we needed to support with DC input. Yeah. They actually have different voltage startup uh, points. Yeah. So if, if you drop below, it won't start up. If if our batteries are getting below a certain level, then they'll go until the end, but when we switch over to the other side, they say okay. that they won't start up again. So we had to do a lot of management between, we've, we've managed to make it work, but it did take a lot of time to make it. It's a, it looks like a very simple product. Yeah. It isn't, <laughs> but it's a very, very good product. And we've announced two, um, two power stations that will ship in May. One is 295, yeah. which is the power station photo which has two adapters in it, GH4 and A7S, mm -hmm. and then Nikon and Canon are optional extras. They actually, we needed a battery decode chip inside, it made it quite expensive to make those. The other two are a bit more affordable, so we're including them in the box. So you remember, you get two batteries, and it's, the, it's one of the world's fastest chargers. You can charge two small batteries in two hours, okay. which is very, very fast. Yeah. Um, then the, the power station fo uh, video, which is 395 US, and that goes to two big batteries and has all of those adapters inside plus some DC cables to FS series and Canon cameras. So that really gives you the full suite of exactly what, the, what you need for power management on set. And I really think it's going to be a big, big thing for both photo users and video users. People don't really understand what continuous power really gives them. You have two to three hours on a, on a video rig to swap out the, to the next battery, which means you really never are running out of power if you, if you don't want to. Um, and I've spent years running out of batteries, trying to shoot stuff, and uh, I'm not the best cameraman, but I'm even worse when my battery runs out. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody is, I guess. Yes. Well, um, do you have other stuff which is new or new offers, maybe? Yes, yes, we do. So we've got a lot of customers now. 90,000 of them, in fact, have yeah. bought recorders and, and monitors from us over the last four and a half years. Very proud of that number, but also there's a lot with who have got multiple ninjas and samurais and now shoguns. They have a lot of accessories. Mm. 
So th they've been requesting to me, look, I know you, I know you want to give all the accessories. We love it. Yeah. But on the third or fourth product, it's like, where do I put them? You know? So I want to use my older accessories. So mm -hmm. we've removed, we call it Shogun Bare Bones. Mm -hmm. And it's now 1695, not 1995. Okay. And that $500 of accessories that we include in the 1995 value, mm -hmm. we are offering for $400 okay. for customers. So 1695, AC adapter only, bare bones product. You know, you don't get anything in the box that you will need, like a disc caddy. You get one disc caddy, that's it. And you don't get a USB dock or anything like that. But most people have this if they're doing production all the time. So. We're offering that for 16.95, and then we thought about it. And well, if they if they want it for Shogun, then we should do it for all the products. Okay. So then we did Ninja Two Bare Bones, yeah. which is 3.95 US, okay. and then we did 7.95 for the two Ninja and Samurai Blades. So these are, I think, that's really affordable prices. Yeah. There's no reason for people not to have a recorder monitor on the top of their camera, yeah. and it, it normalizes and increases the quality of their workflow. I've seen you have a big black uh, half football here uh, next to you. <laughs> what is it? Oh, you guys are world champions. You bring everything to football, don't you? Sure. Yes. Well, uh, you, you should enjoy it while you're there. Um, yeah, basically, we wanted to make a 4K dome theater okay. that showed off customers' work. And, it, and also gave us a forum and the camera makers to come and show their products as well as what customers are using it with. Yeah. And we've got some amazing footage and some amazing customers here that are one, one guy's 26, we flew him out from San Francisco. Yeah. He has done an amazing over the top of San Francisco airport mm -hmm. with A7S and Shogun, and it blew us away. Yeah. We've got people using drones around in Berlin, around with one of our power users, Ferdinand Wolf. He, he's extremely good at, at drone mm -hmm. um, control, and he's gone in Berlin all over your major mon monuments. It just looks amazing. So we want to show that we are helping the production community produce 4K quicker and in better quality and now really be creative. And I tell you what, these guys are just making amazing videos with the 4K content. Yeah, it's, it's fun to see uh, when you watch uh, uh, behind the scenes films, you see Atomos very, very often. And yes. that's, that's funny. Yes. Also, your, your new uh, yellow uh, sun hut. Uh, <laughs> Makes becomes it pretty <laughs> obvious. <laughs> yeah, it's like the white headphones. Yeah. You know, that was the goal. I think, you know, the production is, everything's black. And I know there's reasons for that. So we have a black one too, if people need that one. But it's a bit of fun, you know, on the... Uh, I think it's important to say that inside it's black and not in, also yellow. Inside it's black. And also um, on the front, yeah. you, you have a black cover or a yellow cover. Yeah. So that, so for your, for your own benefit, yeah. that you don't have to be looking at yellow all the time. And, uh, and the last uh, question uh, about your friends at Black Magic. Yeah. I saw that they have also a ninja which they offer now and then I say okay it's it's not a ninja it looks like a ninja yeah. what, what do you say to that well you know someone copying your operating system is pretty nice I doubt that it's as fast and intuitive as ours and or as developed yeah. um, it it only does 1080p 60 and the cameras that do 1080p 60 are all 4k cameras these days so why wouldn't you buy a 4k device and a ninja is a much more robust and solid product it's the original and at 395 it really is much more affordable <laughs> thank you very much Jeremy. have a great show thank you very much mm. cheers man cheers i like your questions yeah. <laughs>